Three more cases of HIV have been identified in Scott County, bringing the total number of cases to 166. But the rate of new cases has slowed, thanks in part to a needle exchange program. And now other counties are considering following suit. Gretchen Frazee reports. Boxes of dirty needles found throughout the city of Connersville sit in the Fayette County Health Department. We have reports of syringes in our dugouts at our, our Babe Ruth um, ball field. I've seen needles behind the gas stations and, and um, officers have reported getting stuck by needles when they do um, frisking people. I, I would love to see that cut down. Connersville has been fighting a high rate of heroin use for decades. The town has relied on industrial jobs, but companies have moved out in recent years. Now, dozens of large industrial facilities sit vacant, dotted with for sale signs and graffiti. There's nothing for the younger generation to do here other than to go to a movie, <laughs> maybe go out to eat, but I mean, you know, we don't have a lot of activities here. Drug users in Connersville have been sharing needles, and that's caused a spike in the hepatitis C rate, which spreads the same way as HIV. So health officials are meeting to consider whether the county should implement a needle exchange program under newly passed legislation. Fayette Regional Health System CEO Randy White says he was skeptical of a needle exchange until recently. What I see it as now is a, is a chance for us to get ahead of the, the, the issue to try to slow it down. But there are still a lot of questions that have to be answered before an exchange could be implemented in Fayette County, including who will pay for it. Fayette County health officials will also have to get buy-in from the local community and receive state approval before an exchange can go into effect. Vigo County, the county surrounding Terre Haute, is also considering a needle exchange.